What's up, football fans? There have been some great running backs and running back plays over the years. But the most impressive, well, okay, the most meaningful to me, occurred in the 2021 NFL season. Let me set it up for you. The Indianapolis Colts are still trying to overcome the fact that Andrew Luck retired out of nowhere. Frank Reich takes a shot, goes and gets who he thinks is going to be the next great quarterback of his. Carson Wentz. Well, it's an up and down season, but one particular game had nothing to do with Carson. It was all about the sophomore running back, Jonathan Taylor. Week 15, and in comes the hated New England Patriots. Now to Colts fans, there isn't a team more hated than the Pats. Okay, maybe the Titans. And the Colts haven't beaten the evil empire in over a decade. I mean, the last time Indy beat New England, George W. just gave way to Obama and the Saints were sitting on top of the world. So being the Colts are 0-7 against the Pats, it was like a battle between David and Goliath. Only Colts fans thought Indy had any shot of defeating the team who had obliterated them over the past 12 years. Well, Indy was not only holding their own against them in this game, they were actually up 20 to nothing going into the fourth quarter. Most in part to a young running back named Jonathan Taylor. But then, the weight of the world came crashing down. New England scores 17 unanswered, and all of a sudden, the pass began to creeping up on all Colts fans. Two minutes, 21 seconds left in the game. Colts get the ball back after a Mac Jones to Henry Hunter touchdown. And then this happens. It's second and eight at the 33-yard line. Up by three. Two minutes and 11 seconds left in the game. New England out of timeouts. And the Colts just need a first down to seal up the game. Everyone and their mother knew who was getting the ball. Jonathan Taylor had been the hero all season for Indy, while Carson was just throwing left-handed ducks to other teams. So old Bill Belichick, he had everyone at the line looking for the handoff to Taylor. The ball snapped, and the crash at the line of scrimmage is like some kind of 33-car pileup on an interstate freeway. But as Taylor receives the pigskin, and he sees a crease in the line of scrimmage, and he darts for it. But as fast as it opens up, two bodies fill the void. Donta Hightower and Devin McCourty. Colts fans hold their breath. Looks like it's going to be a third and long, and again, the thought of punting the ball over to the Dark Emperor looms large. But Taylor took the game into his own hands. Well, legs anyway. And perhaps the greatest one cut and go in the history of Colts football. No. No, the NFL. JT sidesteps them both and leaves them standing there, trying to pick up their dignity and self-respect. All Taylor sees in front of him is 60-plus yards of green. Taylor has the chance to ice the game. But out of nowhere, one of, if not the fastest guy on the opposing team, JC Jackson, comes hauling ass trying to catch him from the other side of the field. Now at this point, there are multiple stories of what happens next. Taylor says he was looking back at his coach, asking if he should score a go-ahead touchdown or kneel around the one-yard line. Now, when you already have a three-point lead, everyone knows you score a damn touchdown. Go up by 10, game's over at that point. I think Taylor had his head turned around just to taunt Jackson, like, you think you're fast? Well, I don't even have to see where I'm going and still outrun you. Maybe there was some words said in that span, but I'm just guessing at this point. All I know for sure is that Jonathan Taylor, number 28, just iced the game against the Patriots. Ending a long period of disappointment for Colts fans around the world. And now, NFL teams aren't paying game-changing running backs their due. And Taylor is coming to the end of his rookie contract. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.